So interesting that Edward there already was talking about everyone needs to work by themselves, which, uh, wasn't even considering working with his own wife. Of course, we kind of know he had his own agenda. At this point, however, we have a lot more access to rooms of the house. Which also does point out something I was mistaken on with the map system. A white room is one you actually have zero access to. It's not just that you haven't been in it, it's that you can't be in it yet. Yellow rooms mean you have access but haven't solved the puzzle. Red means that you have solved the puzzle for that room. So yeah, I was a little mistaken on that. And now, I'm curious. Seeing the library scene opens up a lot of stuff. And only seems to trigger after you've been through the basement. Because the thing is, I'm still curious about this scene that I think is supposed to be in the kitchen, that I've never seen, but I've seen people in the comments say that they have seen it. After clearing the basement, though, I wouldn't normally have any reason to need to go back to the kitchen, so... I wonder if this scene triggers now. Wait, that's happening automatically. We dare you, Tad. This is the kind of thing I love it when this happens when I'm doing projects like this. A game that I have played through so many times. And I learn or see something completely new. I have never seen that. It's a scene that it shows up in the script of the game because like there's a player's guide that I got that had the original script of the game and it mentioned that scene. but. All this time, I'd never seen it, so I thought it just got cut for some reason, but it's still there, and I just... I never came back into the kitchen. I had no reason to. <laughs> wow, okay. That, that, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Another reason to be glad I'm doing this project. That, that's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, thanks to the people in the comments that did say that that scene does exist and so it just stuck in my mind as something to keep checking? I did not expect that. So anyway... With the new access we have in the house, we're going to go ahead and take care of one room that we couldn't get into earlier. We'll do one more puzzle, and that's where we're going to call it. So, let's go down to this end of the hall, and check out this door over here. We can get in now. So, given all the stage magic memorabilia here, it's fairly obvious this is the guest room of Hamilton Temple. However, there's no cutscene to greet us here. But of course, there's a puzzle. Oh, I'm dying to see what you will do next. Up! And down and side to side. That's the way the cards unhide. So we have to flip over all of the playing cards. You can start wherever you want. After flipping the first card, the next one has to be in the same line, either horizontally or vertically, 
and has to be adjacent. A leap of intuition in order to unhide them. At least, at first. Because how would you get to these cards that are isolated over here like this? Well, if there's a flipped over card or a space in the way, you can jump over it. So now we can skip over here and up to the top. Yes. So notably, this is another of those where there are multiple ways to solve both of these puzzles. Just for style points, I like to try for solutions where I end up with the Joker as the most isolated point. And there we go. Foiled again! Dirty work. Even Houdini didn't use such heavy weight. Ah, perhaps this is the secret of Stoff's power. Yes! Temple? What's the noise? Yes! Temple? What the hell are you doing? Stop it! Stop with your... No! Stop! So as usual, strange goings on in Stauff's mansion. As we know, Temple is a stage magician, and as he asked in the game room, he's looking for real magic? I don't know if that was quite what he was bargaining for, though. So, we can just get out of Temple's room. Hmm. Well, that's more doors than we came in with. Let's try the one on the right. That we know clipped. We're going to the back rooms. Or the library. So yes, even leaving Temple's room is a bit complicated. As long as we're here, I'll go ahead and show off the shortcut through the library. So this takes us up to the second floor hallway, though a view that we haven't really had before. We can go in there, but we're not interested in doing so just yet. Yes, yes, you're very spooky. So just to show where we came from, it's this little branching path here, but we can't go this way just yet. The trick is, I honestly kind of forget which is the right door from Temple's room. But anyway, there's the stairs back down to the foyer, so we have some sense of just where we are now. So, we know it's not the one on the right. Let's try the one on the left. And we're back in the oven again.
I guess they will let you go back down to the basement if you really want to for some reason. Well, our choices are running out. Back up we go. As we go, there is one little trivia thing I can point out. Though I forget if it was the 7th guest or the sequel game The 11th Hour. One of them actually had a file on the disc that was a Doomwad file. It would let you play Doom in the Stolf Mansion. So that's kind of interesting. So, process of elimination... Yes, it was the middle one. That's the one that puts you back where you're supposed to be. Yes, we know. You're mysterious. Oh. This must be your room. But I don't want to go in yet. I'm still a little shaky. There's nothing to be scared of, except Stoff's tricks. Will you be in your room? Yes. Or the game room. We all want something, don't we? I mean, that's what we're here for, isn't it? I suppose so. And, and what is <gasps> What is it that you want? Oh, not much. Just, I've been a stage magician all my life. I want to know... Is there real magic? Does Stoff know that? Can Stoff give that to me? I? No, we. We need to find a way out. We need to start our life over again. I mean, Edward has gotten us into such debt, and there's no money. What about the others? I don't. So, uh, yeah, I actually kind of forgot about that scene. So, anyway, I think that's a good place to end it for now. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Let's go ahead and save where we are. Kind of wonder where it's going to put me when I reload. Is there a base location in the second floor hall, or is it going to put me back in the foyer? Part three. Oh, come on. Your game has been saved. And with that, fare thee well. So, stuff, have you gotten over that separation anxiety yet, or. Come back! I guess not. <laughs>